Hi Leo, welcome to your September 2016 love reading. So I picked the card from the bottom of the deck just to, you know, since the double card is kind of a intense card. Um, and it really doesn't, you know, it's, it's not a card that I like to end up with because it's not really, um, as an outcome, that's not how I see it as being. Let me see if I can pull back. Oh. No. We shall see. Okay, so the overall energy is the death card. There's a transition in September. And um, the, the, you know, obviously this is a general love reading. For whom this card is going to be the most appropriate. This is something that is likely right now probably all over but for the shouting. And the only thing I can say about it is that maybe as a Leo and maybe being a fixed sign, you're the kind of person that stays in a relationship too long sometimes. Sometimes it's out of a sense of loyalty, but even within that loyalty, there's um, a person who is adverse to change. And so, you know, I know this is kind of <laughs> a maybe not such a great analogy, but I was thinking of uh, Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. And she was a Leo, and he, he is an Aquarius. And so both of those are fixed signs. And a lot of people were wondering, when are they going to break up? They're no good for each other. And they stay together for quite a long time. And whether, you know, people can look back and say, oh, she stayed with him too long or what have you. It's not that easy for somebody who is a fixed sign. And so it went in their relationship, they both were. So it probably was on both ends of things. It's not easy for you to just pick up and go somewhere else. And there's also a sense of loyalty that keeps you. Now, let me look at the, the past and the present to get a better handle on what this all means. For the past, we have the chariot and we have the king of wands. Now... One person could represent the person that you are going away from, and the other person could be the person you're going towards. The chariot can actually connect to cancer. The, the wands can be fire signs, so it could be an Aries, a fellow Leo, or a Sagittarian. Um, it could be that for some of you, you pretty much became self-empowered and it led you to realize that you had to, that, that, that whatever relationship you were in was no good. Maybe you didn't even kind of know that it was affecting you so adversely until recently. But I, I still feel that something will happen that will make this become apparent and um, that it's not going to necessarily be you doing it. 
it will kind of take care of itself, maybe in some cases. Um, if the person that you're interested in is a fire sign, make sure that you know as much about him as possible. Make sure you're not being bamboozled by this person because for the present situation, we get another a card associated with the fire signs, but we also get the moon card. The moon card can indicate deception, something that you don't yet know about the situation. And this could be something that comes out around the time, you know, it's funny, I'm recording this on a Saturday night on the 13th of August. So there's going to be a full moon in Aquarius on the 18th. Okay, so for those people who are watching this before then, and it's supposed to be even like a little bit of an eclipse, but the 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 um the sign Aquarius is your seventh house. So that's your house of long-term relationships. So some of you, when you have a full moon there, there could be endings, but there could be things that are found out. Um, so some of you may get some revelation about a relationship and then this will come of its own accord. You know, obviously if you've watched this after that time, it could just mean that you may not know everything that's going on. In the Page of Wands, it could be that he, that this person has has children. Maybe the person you said, "Do you are you married?" No. Do you have children? No. And the person's been married for twenty years, and they have three kids. Now, <laughs> hopefully, it's not anything that uh, blatantly um, deceptive. But the moon card can indicate that. Now, it could be that the, the person that you have fallen in love with is very creative and is, has kind of like a, a playful demeanor. The, uh, the Page of Wands can indicate... Actually, the Page of Wands can indicate a new affair that's in its early stages uh, or a, a new relationship. And with the moon, it could just be saying that there is a sense of creativity between the two of you. Because Leo, you're like a natural artist or natural, cre naturally creative. And so maybe you found someone that shares that passion. That's always a possibility as well. The higher message is the six of pentacles. Um... The Six of Pentacles, and you see this person's holding a scale. The, this card, in general, can just talk about giving or receiving some sort of financial assistance. And, you know, if I were just doing a general reading, I could say, well, you might be getting some money from somewhere. I think inheritance are covered by this, but just something... Um, or just getting help from from a friend or just, you know, somebody helping you out financially. Or you're going to be in a position where you can help somebody else out. In a love reading, sometimes I think of people who have conflicts within the relationship because one person is the one controlling the purse strings. You know, maybe one partner is out of a job. And that has put stress on the relationship because the other person has to pick up the slack. But also, um, the person who is out of a job may be feeling a sense of not having high self-esteem. And, you know, especially if it's along gender lines and the person is a man who is being dependent, he may balk at, a, at his wife being the one who's supporting the family. Maybe he's taking care of the children. Maybe he's a stay-at-home dad. But there's, in the back of his mind, he's he doesn't like it because he feels emasculated or somehow um, that he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. But this can also relate to 
give and take within a relationship. So the fairness of it, you know, the person holding the scales. So I say this sometimes, especially with fire signs who are general, generous, is that you have to be careful because there are people that may take advantage and um, are you the one that is giving too much? And do you think that you have attracted somebody who's just taking? And it doesn't, you know, I don't go for that theory of like 50-50 and all that stuff and that, you know, you have to split the bills or anything like that. But it's just a general sense that you get that one person is doing the heavy lifting in the relationship and the other person is kind of like just taking advantage. Um, and this is something that you're being asked by spirit to look at in terms of any new relationship that you get involved in. What crosses you is the Ten of Pentacles. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can relate to family and, you know, family businesses, family inheritance. Um, maybe in this particular situation, you know, and it's funny too, I said like the six, six, the number six relates to home. It could be that, um, you know, maybe in certain cases, the family is calling the shots. Uh, maybe if you are, you know, sometimes this may be like if somebody is divorced or getting a divorce that they get alimony or something like that. And it could be that the parents that you have to rely on family to um, kind of raise a child alone if you're doing that. Sometimes maybe that's what the, that's all about, that it's a child is involved. Maybe it's your child. Um, and that you have to rely on handouts and that for some reason it's not, uh, you know, the kind of s situation that you like. Now, this, it may not be anything that another person is doing. It could just be that you're, you know, as a Leo, you're very um, pr proud and you may not like to be in a dependent position. Um, somehow the family can interfere with a marriage or a situation. Uh, for those of you who are in a marriage, and maybe some of these cards do not relate to you actually leaving the marriage, maybe it's just um, a matter of fact that you have decided to um, radically change the the um, power structure within the relationship. Maybe you were in a position of being dependent financially and you're no longer going to do that because you realize that that created a lot of um, imbalances within the relationship. Well, the Ten of Pentacles can indicate that, you know, maybe you go to work for your family in order to be financially independent within a relationship, but it causes some sort of conflict. It could mean that somebody who is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or, or uh, Capricorn, somehow is um, causing problems for you. The... The attitude to adopt or to, you know, to, to make you feel encouraged is the three of pentacles. Um, this is a card of kind of building on something and something that is going to pay off. So, uh, again, with that page of wands right above it, if you have started a new relationship or there's some something that you can start, um, that might have a really good chance of working out for you. And maybe there's complications around it, swirling around it, but ultimately there's going to be um, a wonderful outcome. You know, it's just that it's still in those initial stages. 
The advice is the nine of wands. This can indicate that somebody, maybe it's an earth sign individual, and actually, <laughs> I you know, the, the, um, the devil card is connected to Capricorn, which is an earth sign. So there might be, if some of you are involved with a Capricorn or some other, um, or whoever, you know, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but whoever it is, if that person is still around, and maybe I'm saying earth because that was in the challenge position, um, that person may try yet again to come back. And they may try another tactic to get you. Um, it could be that they use, they try to use money to lure you in. And so you're going to have to be very vigilant. That's what this card is about. This is about standing your ground and, and, you know, being aware when somebody is trying to worm their way back into your life, knowing that they, um, do not really have your best interests at heart. They're really, it's really a selfish thing that is making them do it. Or maybe it's an ego thing, like they can't stand the fact that you are rejecting them or that you are moving on with your life. If it is an earth sign like, um, I, I was going to say Taurus, because I know that for sure that as an earth sign, Taurus is very possessive. Um, that person can at literally see you as a possess another one of their possessions and they can be like how dare this possession of mine get a slip out of my hands and so you have to be able to see when you're being objectified so that you can resist the urge to get back especially if they're kind of trying to lure you with some kind of uh little um, bling offering and uh, the outcome, now this is why I picked another card, because I got the devil card. And, you know, typically I'm not trying to, you know, play fast and loose by picking, you know, extra cards if I don't like the outcome. With the devil card, the devil card represents being, a, you know, what's the word? I was going to say trapped, but I, that's not the word that, I'm, that I really think is appropriate. But being... um having a some sort of addiction or compulsion that you f you find it very hard to free yourself from you know the typical things that we look at are just substance abuse issues and in relationships it's an, a relationship that is tempting because it offers a pleasure of the flesh now obvious one is sex but it could be, as I said, it could be a money thing. If somebody has a lot of money and Leo loves to live large, that's kind of a tongue twister. Leo loves to live large. And so it's very tempting for you if somebody is affluent and they are trying to get back in your good graces. But this card is kind of like um, a cautionary message that this, whatever this person is trying to do, is not in your best interest and also that if you do not break the pattern you're just going to perpetuate this addict addictive relationship and it's a destructive one and it's not it's not good it's like when you have the devil card it's something that is the shadow aspect of your life not the positive aspect so i picked another card to go along with this, and it's the Hermit. Um, this is about seeking inner wisdom. You see, he's got that star illuminated, and he's he's that star is within the lantern, so it's like your inner light, so to speak, and trying to cultivate that and trying to tap into your higher self. And it's another major arcana card. I got a bunch of them here. One, two, three, four, five. So this might be a very significant time for you in September um, where you really are either at a crossroads or you have just gone into a new situation that seems to be very passionate and full of 
creativity and maybe it's something that makes you feel alive again makes you feel like a little kid because you are like an overgrown kid Leo you know the fifth house that you rule deals with children but it also deals with love itself and it deals with the creative pursuits that people engage in and amusements things that we do for fun so anything that is entertainment related and so you may just feel like you have another lease on life so that would be pretty cool and so anyway leo i hope you enjoyed this if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below otherwise have a great september bye